So as you can see, we've got a lot of snow here at the way to be. It's time to get out there in the cold. And by cold, I mean 11 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 12 minus 12 Celsius. And it's Wednesday, January the 26th. The snow has quieted down the landscape. It's time for me to walk out there with my hive cleaning tool and make sure the entrances are open. So a lot of people want to see those updates. Let's take a look. Notice the snow on top of the hive visors keeps the snow from developing a heavy load over the entrances. A lot of people ask, how often should I clean out those beehive entrances? Well, whenever it snows, you need to get back out there, no matter what the weather's doing. Now, we do have some dead bees at the bottom. Evidence that there are living bees in the hive. Right to my right there, is a motion activated noise maker. So when the deer walk through here at night, they go off. They only function at night, they're set for that. And then when there's a melt off and spring comes and the bears come walking through, you'll notice there's a bunch of those noise makers in the background too. My electric fence is down, at least around this apiary. So if a bear comes, I'm counting on them not liking the noise that that makes. Those landing boards are clear. No need to scrape them out. Again, because of the high visors. If you want to know how to make your own, look down in the video description. And I have another video that shows you step by step what they are and how they're made. Pretty simple. We have more snow coming. It's going to get deeper. And the wind's going to blow stronger. Each of these landing boards is a minimum of 18 inches from the ground. So that should give you some idea as to the depth of the snow. You could wear snowshoes. I like to walk through the deep snow instead. It gives you a little cardio workout. Notice the landing board's clear. This one faces east. All the snow is on the high visor. Still no dead bees on the bottom board here, even though this colony is full of bees. These are all the south facing landing boards. Could have gotten away without doing any cleaning at all. Uh, just a little superficial clean out here to see how many dead bees there are, if any. And of course, the nucleus colonies there on the end need no cleaning out because there's no landing board and the snow is not blocking their entrances. Now go to the lower meadow here. This one does have an electric fence all the way around it. Found a nice mound of snow there. I thought I could jump through it and sink in. Nah. We went through a minor thaw and then a refreeze. Heading out to the horizontal Long Langstroth Hive. And you can see the entrance is still open there. I'm gonna just get this ice out of here. 
Good to go. Some people have asked about this Layens hive, whether or not I put bees in it, and I did, and it is occupied. The entrance all the way to the right, slightly open, no need to clear it, no snow blocking it. Let's go check out the other Langstroth hives down here. So these do need my attention. All the landing boards are covered, and these do face south, but what are they missing? No hive visors. Because of that, the full depth of the snow builds up on the front of the landing board there and blocks the entrance. So next year, of course, we'll put hive visors on all of these hives. If I couldn't get out here and clear them off, hive visors would have kept that uh, entrance partially open. So we could vote for that. And there were some dead bees this time around, so that's evidence that there are bees inside and that they were alive the last time. And the numbers of dead bees are not extreme. We're talking 20 to 30 per hive. Some hives, I couldn't get any dead bees at all out of them, and I know they're occupied. The snow itself is an insulator, so it's not terrible if it banks up against the side of a beehive. Because keep in mind, if it's only 11 degrees Fahrenheit, with snow banked up against it, that's at 32 degrees. So it's actually better. Again, who needs a treadmill? You can walk around and check your bees. See, this is completely blocked. And again, high visor. In fact, I might go ahead and just put some of those out right now. I've kind of satisfied the difference. So since I have high visors sitting on a shelf in the garage, let's just bring them out and put them on here. I would consider that practical test satisfied. They do benefit your hives in winter. Those, of course, are hive gates. If you don't know what they are, I'll put a link to those as well down in the description. And this hive tool is by B-Smart Designs. Under $5. Got a scraper and a hook. So now that we've cleaned them, there's some things you should be careful about. Make sure that people know where you are. So that if you're out here by yourself and you don't have your cell phone with you, what if you fell in the deep snow? What if you were stuck and couldn't get out? You're exhausted after checking all your landing boards and you're hiking along as I am here. Only to get bogged down in the snow after being exhausted from all the hard work you did cleaning landing boards and down you go. You're in jeopardy. Those short-tailed shrews could come at you under the snow, paralyze you and drag you away to feed their young in the spring. So thank goodness you have a hive tool by Be Smart Designs that you can dig out. You can flip the snow away from yourself. Make enough space to get back on your feet. Maybe you're fatigued. Maybe you're undernourished. Dig out all the way around before you waste the energy to try to get back on your feet, but you can't stay there. And maybe you're dehydrated. So you could take your tool and use it to scoop valuable snow that you could eat and regain your strength by rehydrating, not the yellow snow, the good stuff. Yeah, I can feel it. I feel the energy coming back into my bones and muscles. I can get back on my feet, saved by my hive tool. I could even run. Stay safe. Take care of your bees. Put hive visors on, clear the entrances. You're the only one out there that can do anything for them. They're waiting for you.